What's up, YouTube? I have a quick story for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's going to be smart, sexy, and beautiful, just like you. So let's get right into it. So, my nickname was The Chosen One. The Chosen One, 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 one. And the reason people called me this was mainly due to the fact that I was a great player. And anything I did, and everything I played, and anything I did, anything I do, I was a good player. I played a lot of games. I was, you know, I was I was a type of person who played every single game, every type of different game. I played Pokemon. I played Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, when I was very little, I played chess. Um, I like playing sports. I like playing GameCube, PS3, Nintendo 64, uh, James Bond, you name it, anything. So going to middle school, um, you know, people kind of, especially my friends, okay, not, not people, let, not people, but my friends were, would name me the chosen one. Now, why would you, why would you name a person the chosen one? Well, pretty simple, guys. One, I was very good at everything I did. I know, I had a thumb out, I don't know why. I was very good at everything I did. No matter what, I played great at any game I played. For whatever it was. And the story goes deeper, obviously. So, I remember going to my friend's house, and he would, let's say he owned the game for a couple years, or a month, or two months, or whatever it is. And it was my first time playing it. And when it came down to my first time playing it, for some reason, I would either beat him or give very good competition to the point where, like, we're trading, you know, like, he's winning one, I'm winning one, he's winning one. And then, mind you, this is my first time playing this game. So, it was insane. I did that with almost every game, and my friends started realizing that, that I was just naturally good at every game. Hence, the chosen one, 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 one. So, the funny part also is when sometimes I would meet someone new, and I remember my friend would kind of greet me to, like, let's say someone new, and he would be like, hey, uh, this is the chosen one, the guy I was talking about. I am like, yeah. That's me. And when my friends started really realizing that, you know, we I remember one day, I got Call of Duty 4, all my friends were playing Call of Duty, you know, it was a new game, and a week, I got it obviously kind of late, this game was about halfway out already, but I decided to get it, you know, I got a 360, and all my friends were playing, and they invited me, and I started playing with them, this is my first time playing Call of Duty 4, and I was either doing the best, or I was doing like the second best, and I was destroying people. And I kind of transitioned from Halo, so I kind of obviously knew um, FPS, you know, how to shoot, how to aim. Once I got like the hang of it, you know, I, I, I understood I have a good shot, whatever, blah, blah. And it was funny, you know, just beating people, you know, doing very good. And then, you know, people started realizing that no matter what game I played, especially my close friends. For example, DDR, Dance Dance Revolution, I used to play that game. My mom, you know, was a very fit person. She's a very fit person. She really pushed me to get healthy. And back then I was slightly chubby and she didn't like me playing too many games so I decided to, you know, tell her, you know, this is DDR, Dance Dance Revolution, it's really healthy for you, you know, you're working out basically while playing, it's very fun. And the reason I love that game so much before you guys start judging is it's a very competitive game, it's very hard, it's extremely hard. You have to get so many arrows, imagine your speed, you have to... You're constantly just moving and it's so hard, I got pretty good at it where I could do um, very hard, extreme a little bit, you know, kind of went some, and I got pretty good, but it was just very good for me. I was losing weight and stuff like that, and I remember my friend, you know, buying the game, and he started, he came, he became really good. Mind you, my friend is kind of chubby, but he's fast on them, he's fast on them feet, like, damn, he's good. He's good. So, all my friends nicknamed me the chosen one. I, that's kind of, that was, that name went with me for like, at least four or five years. It kind of, you know, kind of just went away, you know, people, they know now that I'm good at Call of Duty, that I'm one of the great players, and that I'm good at a lot of games and stuff like that. Like, for example, I play, I play League of Legends once in a while. I used to play Diablo 3, Diablo 2. Uh, I, play, I play some computer games. I play Halo, Call of Duty, um, any shooting game, Rainbow Six, I remember I played it for a little bit, and stuff like that. And any game I ever played, like, I'm very good. Like, I'm, I, whatever I put my mind to, I'm very good. And, you know, even back then, to show you, like, a little side story, uh, in 12th grade, senior year, I had a chess class. And the reason I got the chess class was we would never do anything. You know, it was a fast class, plain and simple, very fast. And I decided to go with the chess class. And I remember playing people who would go to tournaments, people who are very good. And I love chess, you know, it's a mind game. And I feel like when it comes to being the best at whatever it is, in general stuff, it's all about mind games. It's about reading your opponents. Well, let me finish it real quick. I play chess class and I would compete with people. I would do very good. I would beat a lot of people who are technically very good at chess, but with the people who would go tournaments and stuff, I beat them like maybe one out of like five times, but I would give them a good challenge, you know? 
and this is pretty amazing to me. And another top of that, uh, for example, I could use another example. My friend who plays basketball, right? He plays basketball his whole life. And I used to play basketball a lot, of course, but I used to play basketball for like my first like 14 years of, of, of living, 14, 15 years, and I kind of took like a three, four year break. But after like three years, you know, of me taking a break, I decided to play again. And I, I remember playing him in a 1v1. And I could compete with him. He would beat me by one or two points or I would win. So it really came down to, you know, I feel like it has to do a lot with reading your opponent. You know, I'm a very type of person that loves to observe and learn. I'm a really fast learner. That's why I'm very good. I remember being good at anything I played, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. I could, I could beat all my friends. I was the type of player that just dominated his friends. And on top of that, I'm just very skilled, you know. I could compete with people all around the world. So I remember just doing good against him at basketball. I was just the chosen one. All right, wait, one more, one more, one more quick story, one more quick story before I go. So my friend got to get to, my friends got to get together about three days ago, and it was super smash, you know, bros melee. They're they're pretty competitive. They they want to become kind of not professionals, but they maybe somehow got to that skill. They'll probably pursue it. But they go to local tournaments, stuff like that. My friends, you know, just really love that game. I love the game. We used to play it all the time. And you know, I stopped playing this game. The last time I played this game was about three months ago. They all of them play often. It was about six of us. So my friend plays another kid. And I had a ghost, so I was gonna get next after that. He plays the best of three, my friend 2 owes him real quick. My friend's pretty good. He uses Marth, I use Falco. Falco's like the only player I really know how to play, especially since I haven't played in a while. He's like the only one I remember how to play with, pretty much. So I haven't played in like three, four months, mind you. And I'm playing him, I play him in a 1v1. Now, my friends are all just crowded around, you know, we're going at it, I'm doing some sick moves. And it's funny, cause like what it came down to half the time was me just reading his, his mind, you know, me reading his moves, see what he does. Kind of getting an idea of what he would do in a certain situation if it happens again and i would just outsmart him so i ended up beating the first map all my friends were like oh you know just getting hyped around it and then it was close though it was close and when the second map was the platform map i kind of stuck at platforms but i ended up beating him again and i had this in like sick combo or something to kind of finish and then i just outsmart him the last stock you know it was a one stock one stock and then all my friends just went oh it was hilarious <laughs> and then <laughs> And then he kind of just like told everyone, said everyone bye because he had to leave too. But like he walked away, you know, to his car and he looked like, he looked salty. He was, he was pretty salty and he, he knows, he knows he was salty. Because, you know, someone who doesn't play, you know, plays them and I, I beat them. But it's what I do, man. It's what I do. So if you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This is my me sharing you with some stories how I am the chosen one, one, one. This has been your boy Apathy and I'm out.